Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Compass, and today I'm just going to be talking about something. Uh, it's something that's been uh, on my mind for a while about this game. Uh, because this actually happened, first time this happened was in 2015 with one of my IRL friends. Uh, and they quit the game because of it, of course, you know. Basically, uh, when you get hacked, right, and you ask King Zhao for your uh, username, because you know, honestly, like, your password back, all that stuff, right? You know, it, it, getting hacked isn't really, like, out of the ordinary, right? It, it happens in every game. King Zhao will give you your account back. Honestly, yeah, they will give it. They will be, you know, super helpful. But after a day or two, they will permanently ban you. I, I think anyone that's, uh, ha you know, been in this situation, I bet you 90% of them have been permanently banned. And I think it's just a really weird sort of security reason. I, I, I believe they do this as a security reason um, or something. I am completely confused. I don't really understand too much. Um, but basically, you get permanently banned. I think what? <coughs> excuse me, sorry. One thing. I, uh, this is one guy, right? I didn't really you know, know him too well. Uh, I just knew him, and um, basically, he got his account deleted through a sort of uh, hacking file uh, that he downloaded from Discord. And of course, you know, someone hacked in, uh, deleted his wizard. And you know, when he told King Zile about it, he told him about the entire situation, right? He accidentally downloaded the file. This is this is kind of like you know I think this sort of popped up in the community a, a little while ago, um, too. But this happened about I think a year and a half ago. He, so basically, he got his account banned, uh, or uh, because you know he got his account hacked. You know he got the King's Isle. They refused to um, uh, restore his wizards because it was too much on their system. I understand that. Uh, maybe if they updated their system a bit more. Um, you know, adding two-factor authentication definitely will solve uh, this. We really need to push for two-factor authentication. Uh, but honestly, let's, do not be too persistent because I know they are adding it soon. Uh, and, you know, if you are too persistent, I believe they will just kind of halt on it uh, as a sort of punishment, I believe. But um, I think as as a community, I think we need to actually like sort of tell King's Isle or kind of push this where you shouldn't get banned for your account getting hacked. I think that's just a really weird security reason because they count it as account sharing. Um, and I just think that's kind of strange, uh, definitely. I don't think this is in any other MMOs where if you get hacked, um, you get your account ba banned. I've never heard that before. Yeah, if you account share, you get banned. It makes sense. But if you get your account hacked, you don't count, as, count that as account sharing, do you? Yeah, I bet you some of these guys that got their account banned did account share. But I know for a fact some of my friends did not account share at all um there's this one guy he's super super secure um you know just he doesn't give his password out because he's like uh one of those guys that just do not just you know he doesn't trust the internet or whatever right some sort of mumbo jumbo um and he got his account hacked and he got super scared or whatever uh asking Zal for his account back and so he can like unlink his emails all that stuff right uh and before he could do that he got permanently banned he got permanently banned it's crazy um I think some I have there's some situations right where someone has gotten hacked and they actually haven't been permanently banned. Uh, there's uh, someone I think one of my uh, other friends on this game he actually got uh, I believe I don't know if, I don't think I have him added still, uh, but basically um, he got his account hacked by a friend because he was account sharing, straight up account sharing, and uh, he he admitted it to me. I don't think I'm gonna give out his name because you know, but he was account sharing. Um, and he got his account back, and he didn't get banned. He's, I think, I, I saw him around, uh, I think maybe a month ago. Uh, but yeah, um, it's crazy how like it is. King's Isle kind of bans you for, you know, getting your account hacked. And I think this should be uh, sort of, you know, pushed a little bit where, you know, King's Isle, please do not ban accounts that have been hacked. Um, you know, it's just adding insult on injury. Uh, a lot of people get their accounts deleted, you know, they're basically like years and years of worth, uh, work, sorry, um, just gone, just because some guy just wanted some, you know, just some, you know, just hacker, you know, greedy, whatever. Um, I think, you know, King's Isle does need to update some of its sort of, um, stuff like that, uh, which is really, really weird. I think, uh, I just wanted to make this video just to point this out, that King's Isle actually does this. Um, and we really need, you know, some people to get a sort of voice in the community, uh, even if they aren't like a streamer or anything. Um, and if they get banned, they cannot do anything about it. They get banned, King's Isle will just send them, oh, uh, you're permanently banned. It's just the same email over and over again. 
and you will not get permanent you won't get unbanned like like my IRL friend I was telling you about he pushed or he, he emailed them for three years until he gave up because that, that that account he had for five years of course he was not gonna give it up um he decided okay I'm, I'm he's done with this game he's never playing again uh, he spent a lot of money on the game as well um, and yeah he just couldn't you know got permanently banned uh, whatever all that stuff he just you know honestly it's just a weird sort of thing you're you're kind of like yeah, Wizard 101, I think we can all sort of admit this. Their sort of user and password, all that stuff, is not really that secure. Um, and people can key log really easily. Uh, you know, especially uh, their games. Being mostly kids, you know, and, li you know, not mostly, but there's a lot of little kids in the community. And I've noticed this. Uh, I see a lot of, like, 9 and 10-year-olds playing. Uh, they're, like, somewhere in Grizzleheim or something. And I always notice, I'm like, yeah, what's up? Uh, right? And I think even one of my uh, subscribers is 10, I believe, I think. He's, he's kind of prominent uh, in my streams every now and then. But um, a, lot, a lot of little kids play this game. And little kids, you know how they are. They're going to they're gonna give their passwords out pretty easily. <laughs> Let's be honest. They're little kids. And you should not punish little kids. Yeah, you should like maybe give them a suspension. Maybe a, a, a 24-hour suspension so they can learn a lesson. Or a week suspension so they can learn their uh, lesson. You do not go and ban them. I believe that's a you know it is definitely against TOS giving out your uh, password or username and password and that's what kind of you know messes it up. But I feel like they should be a bit more lenient on this. Uh, but of course, there's, that's not really my place to say on that sort of thing. Where if you give out your password and information, you get permanently banned. Uh, I just think they should be a bit more lenient because a lot of these games are just mostly kids or not mostly, but there's a there's a decent amount of kids on playing this game. Uh, especially this is a kids game. Uh, let's be honest, but you know it's a very fun kids game. Uh, but but, uh, you know, let me just wrap this up real quick. Uh, just, Kingzile, please sort of, uh, you know, listen to this. Uh, can you, like, look into this and just kind of start unbanning accounts that have been banned? I feel like this is an unfair ban. I feel like if you get hacked, it's a very unfair ha uh, ban, right? Um, I don't know, but I just think it's, it's really just something weird. And I really want you guys to sort of look into a lot of these accounts that have been uh, hack because a lot of these guys have spent just years and years of work this is you know this has been their favorite game and you know just it's not even their fault some some guys that get uh, hacked it's not even their fault um they ha you know they just randomly get hacked like sometimes uh you know you know i you you, you click a sort of link it, you download it uh you get hacked whatever all that stuff but, you know, I believe, King's Isle, you should really sort of uh, look into this and, you know, actually start unbinding these accounts. Or just look in, because uh, I know a lot of these guys that did uh, sort of get their accounts hacked uh, did actually account share. So you can maybe, like, sort of have some sort of, uh, I, I, don't, I don't have any sort of, like, uh, precautions for those, but, yeah. Thank you all for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, thank you for listening to my little rant again. Uh, but yeah, this is just something we really need to get pushed. Uh, also, we are about to hit 2,000 subscribers. And once we do that, we'll be hitting, doing a pretty nice giveaway. So please subscribe if you really enjoyed. Um, you know, I got some more videos coming out. And, you know, got some more streams. And yeah, see you guys in the next video.